think that will be the ultimate test Guys. so i don't have the best news no. this is kind of a roller coaster video we'll see how this ends between concrete walls there's a place for us where we could go where we could be alone between city lights we don't have to hide Hola gente, what's up guys? This is my hair when it's starting to air dry. If this is not freeze, then I don't know what freeze is. <laughs> And it's not even fully air dried as you guys can see. So with a little imagination, I'm sure you can get the full picture of how my very rebellious hair can look like. So that's why in today's video, we're going to be testing out for the very first time this uh, Kerastase or Kerastase <laughs> Discipline Mask Keratin Hair Mask, specifically designed for very unruly, rebellious hair and promises to give your hair kind of a smooth appearance without losing its natural movement. Super straight, stiff hair is not my thing either. I mean, I love to have some movement on my hair, so I thought that was some nice. So I want to jump right into application as I do on most of my hair mask videos because I always think that that is the most fun part. All right, so now my hair is damp one more time. It's not soaking wet. That's one of the things I learned. Good tip um, from one of the Kerastase instructional videos. Any hair mask needs some moisture in order to penetrate the hair, but if your hair is soaking wet, then you're actually diluting the hair mask and you're just not going to have its full power. This step may not be necessary for every single person, but if you have very long, thick hair, and lots of it like I do, then I think it's better to clip um, a little bit up so that you can work better in sections and really make sure you're saturating all your hair. All right, so completely irrelevant, but it's a beautiful packaging. The lid is like rose gold and it has kind of an oval shaped silver thing. So we're getting here 200 milliliters or 6.8 fluid ounces of product, almost unscented and slightly floral. Let's see the texture of these. Okay, I thought it was going to be a lot more light. Uh, it's definitely creamy, a little bit creamier than a mayonnaise. It's not as thick as, for instance, in the L'Oreal Absolute Repair Mask. So in the video, it says that you should use a pea size amount of product for your entire hair if you have short and thin hair. But if you have thick and long hair, you can double that amount. And that's the minimum I'm going to do. You guys know me and everyone keeps commenting that I use a lot of product. If one day you meet me in person, <laughs> you will understand there is a lot going on here and that I wouldn't be able to judge the mask properly if I did not apply enough product. So I'm going to demo just once what I'm going to be doing with each piece of hair. This mask should be applied straight from the root and of course all the way down till the ends. And then I'm going to twist each piece. It really, really helps the mask absorb correctly. So on the Kerastase site, it says it is a daily deep conditioning hair mask. Okay. So I'm supposed to use this every single day. The texture of the cream is very luxurious, which is true. That seals the ends to help prevent future blow dry heat damage, provides extreme softness and suppleness for fine to coarse unruly hair. It will control freeze and smooth out flyaways, all of which I would be super grateful for. And then it talks about its main ingredient, which they have baptized Morpho Keratin Technology. And it says here it can restore flexibility and discipline for the perfect hair movement, the taming of frizz, and to protect against humidity. And that it has optimized starch for maximum anti frizz action and to facilitate the optimum blow dry. Let's see the exposure time. Okay, only five minutes. I don't know why I was expecting it to be a lot more. When I was growing up, every hair mask had an exposure time of like 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I love the five to 10 minute 
fix. I don't know about you guys, but after reading all these, I feel like this is going to be either a huge miracle success or a very big and expensive mistake. Also FYI, there is an entire line. I got the hair mask, which is supposed to be the most potent one, but there is a shampoo, a conditioner, and then there's a leaving um, kind of conditioning, styling, leaving conditioner, styling creams. And then there's another line that's specifically for curly hair. Five minutes have gone by, my friends. And now I'm going to jump into, the <laughs> jump right into the shower and rinse this off thoroughly like the instructions say and then I'm gonna come back and style it on camera so that we can find out together what the final result is. All right, so I'm back and look who was sitting in my chair just ready to take my place and film. <laughs> So when I was in the shower uh, rinsing um, this uh, treatment off my hair, which by the way I thought was going to be a little bit more difficult to rinse but it wasn't at all, I was thinking I'm going to let my hair air dry for about 10 minutes now and I want to see if that freeze that I showed you guys at the beginning of this video starts showing up as my hair air dries. I am going to style my hair afterwards because that's what I always do. I never I have way too much hair and it's way too cold <laughs> to let my hair fully air dry. And also I like my hairstyle. I think that will be the ultimate test to see how much freeze control this uh, Kerastase Discipline mask actually provide. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna be right back. All right guys, so I don't have the best news um, as this is starting to air dry. I still see a lot of freeze. I'm gonna give this product still the benefit of the doubt until I style it and I'm gonna tell you why. Because it does have keratin and as far as I know, keratin is thermoactivated. So it does need some kind of heat in order to work its magic, so to speak. I have not used the entire line, so I have not used the shampoo, the conditioner, and the um, leave-in conditioner at the end. All of those have mask keratin as well. I'm not sure how much the hair mask relies on those other steps in order to give you the optimum results. But I think I'm gonna split the screen right now when I edit and I'm just gonna put you guys on the other side how we started this video so that we can hopefully compare and see if there has been any type of improvement uh, on the freeze in this area. But from what I remember, not a lot of improvement. Like I always say, one of the reasons why I show you every single step and I don't just sit here and review the mask and tell you guys, I actually show you as I am testing it out and I take all this work and effort so that you guys can draw your own conclusions on whether this mask could be a good fit for you or not. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to blow dry my hair and I'm going to meet you at the end with my final conclusions. But yeah, so far I'm not very impressed, especially considering how expensive this mask is. And of course I am aware that I am using this new hair dryer. This is the Elhim 3900. It has ionic technology that really helps with freeze and I am aware that it's going to help in the final result so that's why I wanted to show you the air dry result before but we'll see if I see any additional improvements to using the just the hair dryer alone without the treatment <laughs> to stop blow drying to say something you guys have no idea how soft my hair is feeling right now seriously I'm not even exaggerating the only time that I felt this is when I give myself like a keratin treatment either at home or at the salon so now I am very very confident that it is because of the keratin and the fact that keratin needs heat in order to activate um, 
I, I'm a lot more excited right now. This is kind of a roller coaster video. We will see how this ends. And though it makes no sense, sometimes I'm broken. Too much of emotion. Sometimes I'm the lighting. Don't wanna pick a fight with it. Everything seems so good. Oh my god, you guys. It does work. I am so sorry I doubted you, Kerastas. But look, guys, I mean, I know I have an amazing hair dryer. The softness is out of this world. If you want soft hair, this for me, I'm gonna give it a 10. It feels just like after having a keratin treatment. This stuff only works if thermal activated. But that is also the case of the Dream Coat, you know, by Color Wow. There's tons of anti-freeze products, especially those that say that they coat your hair or that they have some form of keratin in them. And I'm not sure why on the Kerastase sites that I checked, the Spanish one and the international or the USA one, in none of those sites it said that it had to be thermal activated but i promise you this works only if you use heat um, if you're looking for a kind of an anti-freeze product that you do not need to use heat on then this is definitely not for you as i showed you guys before this is worth every single penny if you're willing to put the effort to blow dry your hair definitely the final result has no free so it's a freeze-free um, blowout result. <laughs> um, the flyaways, they're still there. I can see many flyaways, especially on my bangs right here. I haven't seen them absolutely tamed. That's the only one thing bad that I could say, but I'm gonna give it a 10 in softness, uh, in allowing some kind of movement. The hair does not feel stiff at all. And I'm gonna give it a 10 in anti-freeze those are my final conclusions. There's a couple more things that I do wonder about this hair mask, but I'm sure you guys may wonder too, such as long-term results. What would happen after I wash my hair if I do not reapply this? Would that help me with my hair even if air dried once I have gone through all this process? I don't really know, but those are absolutely valid questions. And if you guys are curious about that as well, let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to make a follow-up video sharing with you kind of more of the long-term benefits and results of these Kerastase Discipline Mass Keratin Hair Mask. Here, I am so excited. I can absolutely see myself using these many other times. I think I'm so excited because I was so down before <laughs> and definitely this has been quite a roller coaster of a video. So I think that's all I wanted to say for now. I hope this video helped you in some way to make the right purchase decision for you, or at least that you learned something or had some fun just hanging out here with me. Thank you all so much for being here, for watching and liking this video and commenting. That really, truly helps and I appreciate it so much. And I will talk to you all again on my next one.